everybody. I'm Mindy Lee, and Flyscares asked me to come over and show you guys how to maintain your Flyscare. The most important step is to change your engine and gear oil uh, the first 150 to 200 miles of the life of your motor. And then after that, every 1,000 to 1,500 miles. And this is crucial to maintaining a healthy scooter. Let's show you all the tools that you're going to need for changing your engine and gear oil, which you'll always want to do at the same time. Okay, first we have engine oil. You're going to always want to choose Honda engine oil 10W40 and that's because fly scooters use a modified Honda engine. Okay. Next we have the gear oil also by Honda 80W90. Okay. Your tools are going to be the socket wrench. A nifty tool. You're going to use size 16, 12, and 10. Then you're going to want some latex gloves just to protect your hands from all the oils. Some newspaper to keep the place clean from oil spills. And lastly, an oil pan or a makeshift one if you want to make one out of a milk carton. That's what I do. You're going to want to warm up your engine first. And then what I've done, if you'll see here, is set up some newspaper to protect the area. Get your 16 socket wrench ready and you'll find underneath this silver fan the oil bolt which we're going to remove right near the dipstick to drain the oil so see we loosen it up and there's a filter right in there so I'm going to catch it hopefully once it's loose you can use your fingers to loosen it up and the oil is going to fill out like dirty gold. Ooh, there it goes. And let it all drain out. I'm gonna dig the filter out for you guys to see. Right here. See how dirty the oil is? But this is a filter, you're gonna wanna clean it out. And the spring. We're gonna want to make sure to clean the filter out well. And if there's any gunk in it, you're going to want to get it out. Sometimes there'll be little shards of um, engine when you're breaking it in, like right there. Can you see that? Don't put it back in. Okay, wipe off all the dirty oils. And by now, our oil is running almost to its end. The secret to getting all the oil out is to put your scooter on the center stand and Gently hit the kickstart. It'll rotate and get all the oil out. Once you fully drain the oil from the engine, we're going to have to put together the filter and put it back where you found it. So let me show you how to do this. You've got the three parts. You take the filter, put it into the bigger side of the spring, and then put that into the plug. Okay, oops. And then you put it back into the plug hole. Next, you'll want to find the dipstick, which is right here next to the silver fan. And this is where you check oil as well as refill your engine. So you take that out, and you want to put a funnel in, but since I don't have one today. I'll show you, we can just pour it. Once you fill the oil, which roughly takes about one quart, you're gonna re-screw the dipstick in and seal it. Then you're going to start the engine for one minute, turn off the engine, put the bike on center stand, which I've already done, and then we're gonna check the oil. Okay, so the way you check it is you take the dipstick out, you wipe off all the oil on there so you get a clean slate, okay? Put it back in, and when you take it out, you'll see that the level should be right there, somewhere in between here, okay? And we're good. Make sure it's sealed, and then I'm gonna take it on a test ride to make sure that there's no oil leaks. Now we've taken a spin and found that there's no problems. We're going to proceed with changing the gear oil. There are two bolts that are very important to notice, okay? We have the fill bolt and the drain bolt. 10 to fill, 12 to drain. So I have my 
tools here. And we'll just loosen it with my fingers and pull it out. To speed up the process, I'm gonna remove the fill bolt, which is the only one that has a rubber seal on it. Okay, and this is where you're going to pour the oil in. Look, it's done draining. So, we'll put the bolt back on, nice and tight. Not too tight. Great, now that it's tight, we're gonna get the gear oil and you're gonna cut the little tip off so that you can pour it into this hole here. Now it's backing up, which is okay, just let it drain out. And we're gonna put the bolt back in, along with the seal. And then make sure it's nice and tight. Wrong one. You can use the 10. Great! And now I'm gonna take it for another test drive. <laughs> My test ride. Let's check if there are any leaks. The gear oil side looks good. And the engine oil side looks good too. Great. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next 1500 miles. Don't forget to check out our website for our new upcoming videos at flyscooters.com.